Alrighty, and we're back with some more Skyrim. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I am There's that weird rumbling again on my controller. Don't know why that happens every time I step into Riffin. I've been looking for you. Oh my god. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Can, can you at least let me finish my intro first? Yeah, it wasn't gonna be interesting anyway. There's a new I museum that. opening up in Dawnstar. Well, okay. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations I'm pretty sure you gave this to me one time. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. You are very weird how you always find me. Anyways, um, see, so yeah, I still, I'm not, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not as sick as I was before, uh, especially not, or not as much as, uh, last weekend, but I still do got a cough, so that's gonna happen now then. Uh, secondly, shout out to It Takes Two, um, I mean, dude, it's a hell of a game, you guys, go play it, I mean, that's all I gotta say, man, so even if you don't have a friend, buy a friend online i'm pretty sure you can do that i am pretty sure you can do that i have not checked yet because i have not need to uh thirdly welcome back to skyrim i mean uh, i don't know what else to say so like i said i'm not really much of a intro goer kind of guy you know but um yeah so i mean yeah i mean i'm, I'm not like over high blow oh my god welcome back or anything like that you know I'm, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty chill today, so, so, I mean, it's a wonderful Saturday morning, um, like, 11.30 right now, <laughs> so, you know, I'll take as much of the morning as I can get, but, you know, man, I must speak to Delphi at once, there's no time to well, go talk to the motherfucker, hang on, come on, go over here, come on, Esbern, don't be shy, Wow. <laughs> wow. Why? Mm -hmm. It's yep. good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on. I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a new pet. I forgot about this. this. What's up, boy? All right. What do you want, Imperial? Shut up. Yeah. Yeah? Did I look like I needed you? <laughs> Man, you know, if you ever go to Skyrim, you, you'll never find uh, people who don't want to talk to you. Well, yes, you will. They're called bandits, but you get my point. Everyone now wants then. you to talk I to them. I assume you know about you better get, you guys better oh, yes. go ahead and Dragon. get out of the way too before Indeed. I come back up there. Well, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. We must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Ah, here it is. What's so good come, about let it? me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps Pretty in the reach. During their conquest of Sky. Open the book. Do you know what he's talking about? Nope. Shh. This is nope. where they built Aldrin's Hall. Uh, yeah. Put down in stone all their nope. accumulated ah. dragon lore. Wait. Hedge against <laughs> the forgetfulness. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen that before. Oh, sorry. Policy. In the event, despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall? Remember, Alduin is the, uh, the black dragon that we keep uh, Alduin's looking wall for. Was where the, ancient blade the one who's bringing all the other dragons back to life. Alduin and his turn. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries. But I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blade's archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Uh, well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karthspire in the Karth River Canyon. 
We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. What's the best way to get there? From Riverwood? The road south through Fall Creek is the most direct route. Or you could catch the carriage from White Run to Markarth and then approach from the west. Either way, the reach is wild country these days. The Forsworn are everywhere. Best be careful. Uh, let's travel together. Are you ready? Always. Let's go see if we can find this Sky Haven Temple. Alright. Go ahead and, uh. Ooh! That looks Chinese and Japanese as fuck. Alright, uh, before we go, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I did disable the Louder Nature mod, uh, that made it to where you can, like, hear the, uh, nature, I guess, uh, louder. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was just so un unbear- <clears throat> Excuse me. It was just so unbearable, you know, traveling with the crickets literally chirping, like, two inches away from your ear drums, and just so loud. It was just so annoying, so I went ahead and just took that off. Plus- I did add two mods that are pretty that says is they're pretty safe to, to uh, add. We got crazy Christmas yarls. This will change the yarls outfit to more Christmassy like and uh, S E T or set whatever for Christmas holiday at uh, attire for bards. Basically, all the bards across Skyrim now has more of a Christmassy look to them. Um, and that's pretty much about it. It's December, it's cold as shit, and this is pretty much as Christmas as you can get on the PlayStation version of Skyrim. Because, uh, Sony says so. Alrighty, so now since we're back in the game, let's go ahead and continue. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Thanks, homie. What do you want, Imperial? Who? Where? Yeah, I died? Why are you guys so staring at me? You guys are gang creeps. Alright. Come on, Delphine. Something? I know you got something else to say. There we go. Yes. yes. This is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well, now. That's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You'll be safe. Alright. Oh, yeah. I wonder where I can move from. Mm -hmm. oh, they're reforming the All right, so I guess this is where the next episode is going to be taking place. Uh, traveling to Cloud, Cloud Rule, Stonehaven, something like that. Something simple, which is basically all oh, the freaking way over here. Um, so usually I go ahead. And, well, actually, we could just go ahead and fast travel there and then just go over here. But to be honest. I've never seen this before. Uh, I know I need to at least visit Woodstead at least once because uh, it is a because some I don't know man. I I found out over years of playing if you go ahead and just explore Woodstead and unlock it to fast travel in places, uh, it just makes your life easier. And then we got runoff caverns. I've never seen that place, and we we'll probably won't visit that place for now. Um, but, I'm going to go ahead and give us a little head start, and go ahead and start us off at the Western Watchtower. Um, the hell? The Dragon, dra okay. okay. Power of the PS5, you don't even get to read the loading screen tips, so. Oh man. Lead on to Skyhaven Temple. Oh, that's what it was, Skyhaven Temple. But that's what I, that's what it was, uh, that's something I just realized. So, the more powerful the systems get, the more, the less loading time that, you know, we have to wait for a game, right? That means loading tips are not going to be a thing anymore in, uh, in the future. Ah, I mean, I already know, I know, no, no, no. That's the point, right? I mean, who likes loading screens? But, I don't know, when you grow up in the... There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Uh, no. I could save you a lot of trouble. If you really want to do my job for me, here, I'll mark the location on your map. Just make sure you take care of whatever's going on there. It's my name on the line. Alright, character that we will never see ever again. Is this what it was? Sleeping giant? 
Yeah, that has to be it, because uh, I don't remember this appearing uh, just yet. So off your way, on your way to Slazen Giantos, huh? Cray cray. Anyways, um, I forgot what I was actually going to say, but, um, oh yeah, just like when you grow up, you know, as a gamer, you know, loading tip screens were usually like a thing, and now it's just going to be gone, you know, so, oh well, the game, the game industry is always going to be evolving, just like, well, everything really, I mean, everything's going to, uh, change, I just hope that, you know, one day, like, the devs won't get too out of touch to the point where um, we will never have another single player game again. It will just be complete microtransaction, boring ass games. Uh, multiplayer games. So. Multiplayer games are good. Um, There's some that are actually really fun. Um, for instance, you coming? Come on, ho. Oh, oh. oh. oh too bad I'm a little overpowered right now. Yeah, you're having second thoughts, are you? Uh, that's right. Uh, you gotta get your weakness. You gotta kick a wolf at least once every week. So what the hell? Where did that come from? Wow, this shit, this bitch is fast. And I love how like they'll be in it. Oh, it's fucking Esper's shit. That's what makes sense. So that's the one problem about having a lot of uh. Oh, it's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up. Yeah, there you go. That's one bad thing about having too many followers is that if they hit each other, they'll keep attacking each other until the other dies. But some followers are considered essential, which means that they can't die. So, yeah, you, you, you'll you pretty much have your followers fighting each other, other until the end of time. Um, that sucks. But, um, that's why we're at for now, we'll stick with, uh, two of our actual followers but you know of course we have Belle Delphine and Espen following us uh, into the middle of the woods where no one can hear us yeah anyways uh, as I was saying back before though I haven't, I haven't used that word in a long time um, so yeah I mean there are multiplayer games that can be fun like uh, Final Fantasy 14 for example what the hell? Not that, yo. Where do you guys come from? <coughs> I know you guys are gonna be hostile, so let's just get this over with. Here we go. Run You know what? While we are in the combat, let's go ahead and use magic a bit. I like to, I like to, you know, use magic when I can. So, so when we do the college of winter hold thing, we at least have a, a somewhat of a decent start to uh do more. I don't think so. At least we have a decent start to uh being a mage because starting out as a mage sucks. Unless you have good mods, but uh, I mean, your 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 freaking uh, what is it? Your uh, magic ka bar is too low. Everything costs a bit too much, um, and it can and your damage output can be pretty weak. So, oh shit, look who we got here! All right, get ready. Uh, you know what? Let's quick save. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time just a bit, just so everyone can do in existence. Get ready to fight this dragon. As this beautiful music just roars in. I'm pretty sure this is Morrowind music. Alright, I'm on. But uh, yeah, there are some, there are good multiplayer games out there, but I think there comes to a point where they put too much focus on how to monetize people um how to take as much money you know put people as they can instead of actually making a, a, a good game you know 
Like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong for this, but I think if they, if, if they're gonna release a live service game, if they just released the game first, you know, focus on how to make the game good and make players stick with it. Why are there so many giants around here? Um, and then they worry about, uh, you know, how to monetize people. Like, they bring it in a little bit later, like a month after, something like that. Then I think it would just make multiplayer games more appealing to me, personally. But, that will probably never happen. So, oh shit, you, you, you're a straight up guy, aren't you? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Since, uh, Unrelenting Forest doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, do this. Where the fuck? Where the hell am I going? Wait, whoa. Okay, I am getting right. Ass Jackson constantly roars in my ear because the fucking, uh, whatever they were called, the fucking little cheep, cheep, cheep chirping bugs. I can't, I can't even speak. I can't even concentrate. What the hell? Oh my god. As I was saying. Wow, everybody's fighting this dragon. Oh my god, all the Skyrim. Whoa. Oh, I thought that dragon just launched the dragon into the air. That would have been awesome. <coughs> I meant the cricket chirping to my ears. No, Esburn, you either look for trouble or trouble finds you. Oh, that was actually a good time to use it. I was gonna say, like, whoops, I meant to use the flame uh, spell. But I had it. Oh, look, come on. Alright. Keep killing. Oh my god, the check is actually like the jet after me. Yeah. Yep, I am the Dragonborn. I'm just hiding behind a rock because the dragon doesn't hurt me. Oh, I got it. Nice. See what happens when we all come together, safe and sound, Mr. Giant. Oh, this is actually a friendly giant. That's actually not attacking me. You know, 10 years after playing this, this is actually the first time I've chose to travel with Esben and, and Belle Delphine, and I had never heard that line before, so. See, there we go. So, one thing I've always, I've noticed is that if you play Skyrim for years, and keep making new characters and all that stuff, I guarantee you, if you give it enough time, uh, each time you play the game, you're gonna find something new. Like, every time. And you know what? That right there, was something I never like noticed before, or never had happen to me, you know. So anything can happen in Skyrim uh, that is new. Whether it's a random encounter, whether you accidentally stumble onto a quest. I mean, it, it, it can happen, man. So it's so cool. This game is so good. Oh my god, this game is so good. This is actually this is personally my number one favorite game right here. And I'm not even lying either. So. Right now, uh, we're going through my second favorite game, <coughs> excuse me, my second favorite game of all time, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh man, Red Dead Redemption 2, baby, that, that game is awesome. So, it's my third time going through the game, and I thought about, whoa, frame drop just you took a big turd right there. Alright, oh god, it might, it might, uh, I went ahead and saved this part of the record just in case, uh, the game, you know, uh, freezes or whatever, so, um, but yeah, going through Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, game kicks ass as always, I got, I already got plans for our next game, there's another dragon out in the distance already, oh, it's, it's fighting something, it seems like. Uh, it looks like it's struggling itself, so. Oh, I like this one. I like this random encounter. You don't see this every time, but still. I'd stay away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. 
Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Need any help? I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. So what are you offering to the giants? The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. And the paint on the cow? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. So good Thanks. luck. You take care of yourself now. So, cool thing. Uh, cool little fat. <clears throat> so, giants are generally peaceful creatures. Um, I think they're actually considered elves as well. But they're their own kind of, you know, species. Whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> you go to a giant's camp, right? Uh, and, you, and you notice that giants usually have mammoths. As uh, sorry, I can I can definitely feel my sinuses just kicking in the back of my throat here is annoying me. But oh, let's tell you what this is. Um, <clears throat> but you go to a giant's camp, right? See, they got they usually have mammoths around there. Uh, cool thing about uh those specific mammoths is that or mammoth, whatever. Uh, it's that they'll have like markings on their tusk, so like it's I, I imagine it's the giant's way of like uh, telling you that oh this mammoth is uh, owned, you know, by me and stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> that is their creature. That or well, that's how they recognize you know who's who and stuff like that. Like okay, uh, that's Marcos the mammoth. Uh, that's Judy the mammoth. You know, etc. etc. <coughs> Um, if you go out in the wilds and you find random mammoths, like, just out in the wilds chilling out and there's no giants around, then they will not have markings on their tusks, so. Uh, I, I'll show you what I mean if we find some, but, um, first of all, this wolf is gonna want a piece fast. Um, and I'm gonna have to reject it, unfortunately, because I am not into that kind of stuff. So, sorry, bud, you're not my type. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Well, what's the plan, Delphine? All right. Wait, is that Alduin? Out in the distance? Just the way that his horns are shaped. Uh, you guys, you guys noticed the. Uh, it's a fine day with you around. Uh, well, I appreciate Until it, but uh. Mm -hmm. You guys don't notice Until the uh. The uh. Okay. I guess we'll keep that to ourselves. And I think that's Alduin. No, no, no. No, it has to be. Cause just the way the horns are shaped and all that stuff. So It doesn't look very black from out over here. But that's probably just... Uh, at the... Uh, all right. Hand over your valuables. Or I'll gut you like a fish. Really, dude? Doesn't look like I have any money. No, I guess not. Well, get out of here before I change my mind. So that was a random encounter. Uh, I'm so glad this guy felt like he could take on not only me, but the rest of the crew here. I mean, when you have when it, when you have a gang, right? And you got an old man and you got a rat, you don't mess with them, bro. You just don't. So, uh, I think that is the other one. And you know, I, I imagine he's resurrecting uh, one of the dragons. So, uh, a really cool thing. Is that I found out like pretty early on by accident is that you can actually pick up uh, Delphine's map of where all the dragon burial sites are and you can actually follow where they are and um, yeah just do all that I never done it before um, I really felt like I needed to but uh, yep and that's definitely how doing I can see it from here that's amazing how we were able to see him from all the way back there so that was one of Todd Howard's, Todd Howard's the creator of, uh, yeah, basically the creator of the Elder Scrolls. It was one of his things when he was, uh, advertising this game. You, you, you see that mountain? You can go there! So. We need more Todd Rays! Alright. <coughs> hey, Audi Poo. You miss me, fam? I don't. 
Ooh, this is pretty. Never seen this before. It must be a mod. Yep, oh, I'm here to foil your plans if you don't mind. What are you doing? Oh, you just. Oh, you called Storm, isn't it? Alright. Hey! I hope you enjoyed. I don't know what the crest for a bit. Uh, it's going by by now. Yep. I am a hero. Hide, Scritch, hide! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is a completely missable event, by the way. So, I'm glad we caught it. <coughs> oh, coming right back from here. This is actually pretty good. I like, uh, I like Master Difficulty a lot. So it actually makes the dragon feel like boss fights. So. Uh, I got a really cool, uh, theory, too, about the music when you go into the, uh, Boss fights? Okay. That I can tell you right now, but <coughs> we just slaughtered this dragon. They put a much to a fight. He did just wake up after what, like a billion years of resting, but uh, you know, that's the thing. It's, it happens, you know. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I get smacked in the face so hard that I go right back to sleep for another couple days. Good job, crew. We did good. Uh, so where's the uh, where's the only fan star? Where's she at? Uh, oh, she's taking pictures in the middle of the forest. Actually, I don't even think she. I don't think Bell Delphine's actually still like doing stuff. So, oh well. All right, let's go ahead and chill out in this town real quick. See what's going on here. This town is a little mysterious. Oh, but before I uh, I forget though, what I was gonna say about the um. Okay, I think Asper and Stick and Bell Delphine is literally just stuck back there taking pictures. Um, so cool thing about the music though, that I found out by watching one of, I think it was the Epic Nate's video, it was one of his theory videos, is that the, yeah, the theme song for when you're fighting dragons, it's actually a boss fight song, right? But it's not the boss fight song for you, it is the boss fight. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy while I figure out what I'm You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. What is it that you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, he couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you can change his mind. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Okay, so the boss fight for fighting the dragons, <clears throat> it's not actually a boss fight for the dragons, you know? It is actually the boss fight for you. You are the dragon's bosses. Um, like, enemy boss or whatever. It's hard to explain unless I go watch the video again and then, you know, remember it is, but he did, he'd done like a million like 5,000 versions, different episodes of, um, you know, things you probably didn't know in the Elder Scroll 5 Skyrim. So, uh, I'm not making fun of him, by the way, that's just, you know, how his intro is, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, um, so there's that useless piece of information. Another r less useless information, it's actually really cool. This guy, Eric, right? Father's mind. Probably the most He's English name. Stuff. In all of Skyrim, right? I mean, you got Thorvald, you got uh, Ben Nors, uh, oh, and then you do, you do got Lydia. Anyway, Eric is actually made from a fan during the development of Skyrim. Not actually made by a fan, but made from a fan of, of uh, Skyrim. So there was a dude, I'm pretty sure his name is Eric, right? He, I think he had cancer. 
but he was such a big fan of the Elder Scrolls uh, series that uh, when Todd, How I think it was Todd Howard, uh, he's the creator of uh, the Elder Scrolls series, or at least from three to five. Um, when Todd Howard invited him over to Bethesda Softworks to, uh, you know, to go to the background, see what's going on, get a sneak peek of Skyrim before it was released. Um, but they were blown away at how much knowledge that Eric knew about the entire Elder Scrolls series, right? Well, unfortunately, he passed away from, a, uh, from I'm pretty sure, his cancer. He passed away before the game got released. Um, so, in order to tribute the poor guy, who never got to experience Skyrim, the best game ever, they went ahead and put him in the game as a main character and you can actually uh, have him as a follower for right now he's asking you to talk to his dad about becoming an adventurer when you come back and if you convince his dad to, to let him become an adventurer when you come back uh, he'll be known as Eric the Slayer which is actually the guy's like online name I think I think it was something the Slayer but yeah they call him Eric the Slayer you can actually have him journey with you but well, you know what now I think about it, I might I might actually let that happen you know um, and he can actually level up with you pretty high ways. I, I don't actually know how high he can level up with you, but yeah. Did you see yeah. those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. Sorry? We're honest, hard-working folk here, and we don't suffer beggars or thieves. Uh, you know, your farm's done very well. You must be proud. Do I detect a bit of jealousy in your tone? I would hardly blame you. What calling could be more noble than this? I see in your eyes that you think I jest. I assure you I don't. I am proud, and rightfully so, of the work we do here. Working the soil with your hands, seeing your seeds take root and grow, tending a herd. There is a joy in honest labor you won't find elsewhere. Until next time. So yeah, uh, mysteriously enough, right? This is a farmland. Now, I'm pretty sure anyone who knows anything about farming knows that this is quite, a uh, it's quite strange to have such thriving crops in the middle of pretty much nowhere. I'll tell you why really soon, but let's go ahead and continue. What the hell? Yeah. You okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you why when we get to the, uh, thing. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all well sir I have done a pretty good job of not having kids yet so uh, I think I'll keep your advice in sip Hilda hey I know you there's a really cool mission about getting drunk and then you're selling Hilda to giants that's cool I didn't think <coughs> excuse me I didn't think you could actually find Hilda before uh, the uh, whatever you call it starts the mission starts but you know what of course why not up how you doing all right you guys are just random people all right let's go ahead and check out the inn real quick let me know if you want it i think i got a clean mug around here somewhere yes you have news of our quarry you're a vampire i'd better get going all right well hello if you need a meal or room i've got both need I something only take real coin here no handouts and no bar trade i talk to you about your son my son Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? <laughs> your days of exploiting your son's all over. All right, you should let your son choose the life he wants. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. Here, he says to buy some armor. You would give your own coin to help my son? moved by your compassion your kind deed will not go unrewarded my friend tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit my friend soon to fit him for armor you been a good that wasn't that hard that means something yeah it's something so the only reason why he was convinced that to not let his son go out in adventures because you can't find armor for him in my term meaning that he was kind of convinced to let him go out in the world and explore just didn't want, just didn't want anything bad happening to him or whatever. I don't know. Good parent, good parent. 
Um, alright, let's go ahead and activate that quest just so we can actually find where Eric is. Oh. Oh, of course, he's back in the, uh, freaking thing. So nice. Come on in. Oh, uh, there we go. Take a seat by the fire and I'll Toodles. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Your father changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Yep, so I don't know how long you have to wait, but basically when you come back, oh, he he's ready right. to go out and adventure, so. Hmm? Need something? News of our quarry. Right. Need something? So here's work. This is the main dude of the town. If you've got some business in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Is the town of Rorikstead named after named for you? Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Did you fight in the Great War? Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in the part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. Has the war taken a toll on your settlement and just people? Not yet anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for is a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. All right then. Huh? So, yeah, pretty much the thing about this town is that mm -hmm. it's in the middle of nowhere, but the war hasn't had any effect on it. Don't know why. No, nah, I, 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 I'm not a big war nerd or anything like that, so I wouldn't know how all that will work, but, uh... Make it quick. Yeah. I wish I could be an inventor like you and go wherever I want. Well, maybe someday. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> So, alright, so here's the secret about this town, right? The town is a little cray cray. Why? Because this town actually is full of Daedric worshippers. <coughs> so, I think that's the point of why they... <laughs> la, 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 la. Totally not doing anything hey, the bow, eh? I'm a sort man myself. What? No. Do you see me with the bow? Alright, so anyways. <clears throat> um... So, the town is full of Deirdre worshippers. Um... And they've used some sort of offering to the Daedric Gods, whichever Daedric God, I have no clue, in order to make the town thrive. Um, my theory is that it's the kids, uh, mm -hmm. like Cecil, Cecil, whatever, because now that I think about it, there's no, there was no, like, older women or anything like that, you know, like, in their, uh, teenage to adult years, uh, there. It was just like those little kids, um, Cecil and some other little girl that was running around, so. But, uh, yeah, that's my theory. Oh, that's not even a theory. I mean, I think the devs actually pretty much confirmed it. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're worshippers. They love the devil. Oh. Fight! You guys are attacking each other. No. Wait, what? Look at this scritch. Oh wow, you can actually hit the skiver as a follower. I didn't even know that. Alright. 
<clears throat> Who's there? Well, good. They're gone. Go. So this is another uh, place where you can. <coughs> um. So uh, when you go throughout Skyrim, yes, but I'm not talking to you. When you go throughout Skyrim, there's a shut up. There's a uh, there's a lot of story that happens before you get there, and sometimes it's more obvious than others. Um. So obviously you see this dude. He's dead, right? He got super old. Uh, he got skeevers, uh, running around, right? You're like, oh, okay, so this place just got infested by skeevers. Makes sense. Well, actually, if you look down here... I've told you where Skyhaven Temple is. I'll trust you to get us there in one piece. Is that you? Yeah. Anyways, uh, if you look down here, obviously, yeah, they're, they're like doggy bowls, right? Which, in theory, means that this guy... Lund over here was actually keeping these skeevers as pets, but obviously skeevers are wild animals and you should never keep uh, wild animals as pets um, Yeah, he got totally owned and stuff like that. So sucks for him All right, I think we will go ahead and start on a story because well, I mean just I Mean yeah, that that's, that's what we do when we're near the end of the <coughs> <laughs> the episode so let's go ahead and I already know what book I want to read yeah the agent the danger this will hopefully enlighten us more about the gods and the evil gods or whatever <clears throat> the dex the designation of gods demons Adra and Daedra is this title no it's not <clears throat> I meant uh, Arthur are universally confusing to the layman they are often used interchangeably Adra and Daedra are not relative terms. They are Elvis and exact. And exact. Azura is both is Daedra both in Skyrim and Morrowind. Adra is usually translated as ancestor, which is as close as Cyrillic can come to this elven concept. Daedra means roughly not our ancestors. This is this distinction was crucial to the Dunmer, whose fundament whose fundamental split in ideology is represented in their mythical genealogy. Adra are associated with stasis. Deja represent change. So basically Adras are considered our ancestors, while the Dejas aren't considered not our ancestors, because the Dejas had no part of making learn. Um the Adras did, however. Um, well, maybe not just Nairn, probably the entire realm or universe of Mundus or whatever. Um, because there are other planets, obviously we have the moon. But anyway, Adra created the mortal world and are bound to the earth bones. Dedras, who cannot create, have the power to change. As part of the divine contract of creation, the, the Adra can be killed. Witness Lorcan and the moons. The protein Daedra, or the protein Daedra, for whom the rules do not apply, can only be banished. So, when the Aedras made the world and all that stuff, they gave some of their powers up, because they were tricked. They gave some of themselves up, um, meaning that right now, they are weaker than the Daedras. Which is probably why you really never actually hear, you know... Uh, like you never actually see or hear them at, ever. It's kind of like in real life, uh, in the real world with religion. Um, you know, they say that God created the earth, which is probably, and so he doesn't really make contact with us, like, you know, directly. It's mostly like, oh, you know, like, Lord, please give me a car. And then a car just comes crashing through your walls, white window, something like that. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of subtle, uh, maybe a bit more subtle than that. Or, or more vague than that, um, but that's that's pretty much this. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too much. Like, I don't know too much about, uh, you know, how God works and all that stuff. But I mean, it, it is what it is. Anyways, the Daedras, on the other hand, are much more powerful and cannot die, but can only be banished back to whatever their realm of oblivion is. Um, but they have, but they definitely do a fair much more frequently in the lives of mortals uh than the ages do 
Um, so I guess it's again kind of like how, at least as far as I know, when it comes to Christianity, uh, how the devil uh, pretty much might have more interaction with people, um, even though it's, he is considered an angel. So I don't know how he what. Again, I don't know. I don't know too much about uh, how that stuff works and um, and whatnot <coughs> and whatnot. But um, there you go. Uh, yeah, that was a short book, but hey, that's we got to learn something new. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next part where we finally get to. Oh, we're actually pretty close too. But, yeah, we actually get to Cloud Haven Temple. Or